So what was Lance's reaction um, to being told, you know, the guy who you were replacing and we have attempted to trade so you could understand not only from our mouths and our hearts, but with our roster moves that this is your team, that he we're thinking of bringing him back to make sure that we have our backup position and that quarterback room as solidified as we possibly can. His reaction to that was what, John? Yeah, so when we first floated the idea, it was Kyle talking to Trey, and then yeah. I kind of followed up, and mm-hmm. it was Kyle said, John, I don't think there's much of a conversation. It was real short. He said, cool, I think that's great. Um, Trey's a confident young man. He's, he's got a lot of a belief in his abilities. He and Jimmy, I think the most important thing, they have a really strong foundation of a relationship. Uh, Jimmy could not have been any better to Trey as a rookie, and I think Trey supported Jimmy extremely well. So there's a real friendship there, first of all, and I get it. You know, there's competition. Um, they both, you know, I'm sure last year and this year want to be the guy, but I think there's an understanding, you know, that there is a pecking order. And um, I think, uh, you know, like Trey's conversation when we decided to do it, you know, he was uh, once we once we completed the deal happened shortly after we came off the practice field again, it's the first person uh, Kyle called in. And then, you know, I spoke with Trey and Trey was all on board. He, he thought it was good for our team. And, um, you know, the other thing we did then is um, we talked to Trey. We had to talk to Nate Sudfeld, who wasn't going to be here anymore, who, mm. you know, likely was going to be our number two. Um, and uh, then we also, we, you know, Kyle and I, we pulled 15 players from our team, kind of our leadership committee That's in and told ask. them, here's what we're doing, here's why we're doing it. And, um, you know, wanted wanted to let the guys know um, that it was our belief in this team and those guys in the room. And we know we've created a culture and we've got the men that can handle a situation like this. And so while the rest of the world may think it's uncomfortable, it's, you know, we're not supporting our lead guy. We, we, we don't believe in that. We believe in this team and we think it makes us better. And so, and most importantly, we've talked to Trey, we've talked to Jimmy, they're comfortable. So we want your guys, uh, not, not their blessing because we were doing it anyway, but we want you guys to be on board and they were excited. And, and so that's where we're at and we're moving forward. And uh, I'm happy that, you know, we're, we've got a quarterback room that obviously is so important in this league that is really strong going into the season. And Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, made it as That's well. Amazing. We usually keep two quarterbacks, but he played very well in the preseason and, um, you know, really forced us to keep him on the 53 as well. 49ers GM John Lynch here on the Rich Eisen Show um, talking about what everybody's talking about in the NFL. So, I mean, look, it's not your first rodeo. You got a bust in Canton showing that. You got a Hallis tro- uh, trophy in the case um, in Santa Clara um, and a Super Bowl roster that a lot of people believe is, is ready to go right now. So you understand. I mean, I had Kurt Warner, uh, a, a bust, uh, you know, roommate of yours, uh, on the show yesterday when he was the veteran and and on the Giants team that they that turned to Eli, and he said there were veterans there that were saying to him, "Look, we can win this. Why aren't you out there instead of us struggling with the rookies?" That's part of the reason I assume why you did call the leaders uh, of your locker room, your leadership council together, make sure that we're all on board. What is the, I guess, the the struggle threshold potentially that you and maybe Kyle have talked about, where where maybe your your stance with Trey Lance might somehow waver? That's the conversation that everyone's having right now, John. That I think I, I just wanted to put a fine point question in your lap on that very subject matter with a young quarterback that's going to have the ups and downs, John. A good question. I'm just I'm stunned. I was like I, I was a uh, kid with a jab because I thought you were calling when you said Kurt Warner a bust. <laughs> I was like, no, Kurt Warner a bust. No, no, <laughs> a bust. Mate, I got gotcha. you. No, <laughs> a, a bust in the room with you. A bust mate a bust of yours. In yes, the room. yes, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And hey, Kurt has great perspective. But again, you know what it came down to, and obviously you're you when you have somebody you've invested as much in as we have in Trey, you want to provide for, for every opportunity for them to be successful. Um, but what we came down to, we can't control narratives outside the building, even like Kurt Warner. And, and I respect his opinion. I re, you know, I, I, I seek those guys out sometimes and ask them about situations. Um, but, you know, it was basically, we think our team can handle this and, you know, we're going to be very clear, um, 
you know, no different than last year was Jimmy's team. And, you know, when, when, you know, the call is made that, you know, to, uh, to go to the backup, that's all on Kyle, you know, that's, I'm not saying I'm not passing the buck. That's his decision as a coach. Mm -hmm. I think our players trust that. And, you know, the bottom line is when we were drafting Trey Lance, you know, the, the skill set's obviously important. Everything's important when you're making that big a decision. But a lot of it is the mental fortitude, the mental toughness, the capacity to handle the pres- pressure at that position. And that that's where we thought Trey was as strong as anybody in that draft. And, um, frankly, it was our belief in Trey that allows us to do this because we think he can handle that. And, um, you know, uh, does it provide more pressure on him? Um you know, looking over the shoulder, we don't we don't believe so. Um, maybe the narrative outside, but what we can focus on is having great communication with Trey, with Jimmy, with our players, and saying here's what here's what we're doing, here's why we're doing it, and you know we want you guys to have everybody's back in this, and and I, our team understands that they were all on board, they've got great belief in in uh, in Trey, um, they've played. Um, you know, with Jimmy for a long time, they have great belief in him, but they understand that this is Trey's team. He's going to get every shot to go have success. And furthermore, and I think more importantly, they really believe that, that he's destined to, 